Now it's time to play Interminable, where teams are given a word plucked from the terminology of a particular field of interest. Teams must name the field of interest and then use that word in a sentence. Teams, you get a point for each correct answer. So, Al's team, you ready? Your word is granny grating. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, okay. What about this? <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Yeah. You know how, like, animals, as they get older, their meat gets tougher? <laughs> so let's say you were eating old people. I bet you if you shred them up into really thin strips, it would be easier to consume. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be grating in another way. It could be, like, going to old folks' homes and, like, annoying old women. <laughs> <laughs> Your children don't come visit very often, do they? <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 Do you like how limber I am? <laughs> Full range of motion. I just sat down and got back up by myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about what about something like um like skateboarding? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like because grading like. Yeah. And so, what would be the granny element to that? The granny grating. You do it kind of real hunched over. Like really slow, it's in slow motion. It's if you're so good you can do it in slow motion. So sort of like the dancers who do that thing like that, but on a skateboard using like slow down gravity as you grind. So I think it's, it's while you're grinding, you talk about a particular ethnic group <laughs> and refer to them as well-spoken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so really it's good. racist grinding. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, what's your answer? What's the field of interest you reckon? Skateboarding. <laughs> and can you use granny grating in a sentence? Oh, please let me. Yeah. yeah. Well, me and my fly guys <laughs> doing a bodacious tube, and uh, I granny grated, and ah. the shopkeeper was upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good sentence. Yeah. Really good sentence. Uh, that was excellent. Sorry, but you're incorrect. <laughs> Surprising. The, the field of interest is cross-stitching. And the term granny grating is the name for plastic mesh used when making tapestries. It's also known as a plastic canvas or a plastic weave. <laughs> cross-stitching is like normal stitching, but for angry grandmothers. <laughs> uh, Neil's team, you ready? Yep. Your term is pounce bag. Oh, hey there. Oh. <laughs> um, it's a uh, jumping bag. <laughs> oh. Let's lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> or, like in Bloodsport, the film, when he does that jumping punch, that could be like a pounce. And the bag he hits specifically is the pounce bag. Is that your final answer? <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get away here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's obviously a bag of some kind. <laughs> Can I help you out? Let's lock that in. Can I help you out? You're very cold. <laughs> That's really helpful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, a bag okay. of some kind. Uh, what, Maybe what? it's not. Can we think more laterally oh, about okay. bag? Like the concept of, of bagness? The concept of a bag. A thing that holds stuff in. <laughs> the bag uh, is, isn't it? Yeah. A bag can also be an old woman. That, I was, yeah. <laughs> granny oh. grating. Stop going back to your granny <laughs> grating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a jumping old lady. A bag, like bagging someone out? Oh, oh when you're, you're such a when, pounce. Can, when, you, yeah. when you're bagging someone out, but you're flitting from subject to subject and things mm. like that. Oh, they're rubbish at tennis and they can't cook and they, they so, never do the washing that's up. That's not really a hobby. Oh, yeah, I, think I it need is. an answer, guys. Well, something that you keep something in. Let's just go with that. It's just a bag. Let's just go. Let's just so, what's the field of interest? I'm going to go what's with the field of interest? bags. People like bags. Slagging, <laughs> slagging people off, I reckon. Slagging people. Yeah. That's the intro. Slagging yeah, people. Yeah, slagging people off. And, what, and can you use pounce bag in a sentence? Oh, I can't stand it when Jeremy slags people off because he's such a pounce bag. <laughs> That's believable. I believe <laughs> he that. He jumps I all over that. the place with his <laughs> yep. subjects. Okay, I can safely say you're incorrect. Oh, that's what? a shock. What? <laughs> the, uh, the field of interest is watercolour painting. Yeah, I actually knew that, guys. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, a pounce bag is a bag, so you're on the right track. It's a bag of cotton and powdered charcoal used to dust over the watercolour paintings. <laughs> I tried painting with watercolours once. It was a complete wash.
<laughs> and the scores after that round. Al's team still on zero. Neil's team on one. <laughs> Teams, it's time for the next round, which we call Train Spotter Spotting. We've had questions on a particular topic submitted by three members of the public, but one of them is an expert. You have to choose which person you think you could answer a question from based only on their photograph. The people you can choose from are Tristan, <laughs> Jade, <laughs> and Marty. <laughs> uh, this week's topic is chocolate. Okay, Neil's team, who are you going to pick? Marty seems great. I, I'm actually <laughs> really scared of Marty and I'd like to distance myself from her it's as okay, much as possible. Picture. Just a picture. Really <laughs> just a picture. Don't worry about it. It's just a picture. Well, Marty's showing us her teeth no, that are pretty good mm -hmm. and solid looking, so she doesn't eat a lot of chocolate because mm. that would rot her teeth, <laughs> wouldn't it? So, deduction. <laughs> um, Tristan looks like he's trying to pick his nose, but he missed. I'd yeah. say he might be the expert. So, who are you going to choose, guys? Tristan doesn't look like he knows much about much, so... I reckon Marty, because she's got face paint and that grin. <laughs> she's like at a festival or something. Yeah. So she's probably more into like raw cacao beans or something than actual chocolate. Carob. She eats carob. Yeah, yeah. she'd be one of those types. So yeah. who are you going to pick? Marty the carob eating hippie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Marty, Marty is not the expert. And Marty asks, what's in a Snickers bar? Oh, How much on. do you want to know? <laughs> uh, well, I've got listed here... Four ingredients. What are the four major ingredients of a Snickers bar? It's um, chocolate. Mm. Oh, yeah. Caramel. Yep. Caramel. Peanuts. Nuts. And that, that stuff. That's Nugget. Like... Nougat. Nougat. Correct. Nougat. 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 So, Al team, who do you pick out of Tristan and Jade? Well, I just think he looks like an idiot. Um, so, let's go, Jade. Let's challenge ourselves. Challenge ourselves. She's the expert. Let's do I think the tough she one. Look, she looks like uh, she can dress herself better, hence probably has a regular job, hence expert. Yeah, let's All do right. it. Let's take a point. We're going to go with so we're gonna choose. You're gonna, so you're going to intentionally choose the expert? Well, yeah, so, yeah, because yeah. we're good. Apparently. Uh, yeah. It's well, not like I, think we're, I don't think we have anything to lose here. <laughs> uh, Jade is the expert. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course she is. We both won and That's, lost. Okay, one answer correct. <laughs> <laughs> no points. Oh. So Jade, uh, she's an expert. She, she is a professional chocolatier. She is attempting to become the first bean to bar chocolate maker in Melbourne. And so Jade Not asks, if I beat this. who invented the chocolate conch? The chocolate conch. It's a process designed to smooth and refine chocolate to the texture we now expect from quality chocolate. Uh, you guys want to win, I don't yeah? know, does chocolate come from South America? I think so, Originally, right? Originally, yeah. Originally, so yeah. maybe one of them people. So. Okay, so we just got to pick one of the South Americans. One of the South Americans. Yeah. Uh, what about <laughs> Hugo yes. Chavez? Yeah. Well, wait a second, but if she's asking, then we would assume that we should be able to know the answer. Yeah, that's true. Right, so Alex... maybe it's like Mr. Nestle. Mr. Nestle, okay, yeah. yeah. Or something. John Nestle. John Nestle. Stephen oh, Nestle. Can we just so say Nestle? Close. Nestle. <laughs> you guys are incorrect. Oh. So close. It's um, Rudolf Lindt. Oh. Oh. Mr. Lindt in 1879. And the scores after that round Alastair's team on zero, oh. Neil's team on two points. Oh.